What beautiful weather for a beautiful car. Today I'm going to show you around this Mercedes CLA Touring Estate AMG line. Finished in mountain grey with just over 39,000 miles. And this is an absolutely incredible looking car. The CLAs are known for their bespoke slope styling. And they really did book the trend and almost create a new type of division for coupe estates. Yes, it sounds wrong, but yes, it looks right. So what can I tell you about this car? Well, starting off, as I said, it finished in metallic mountain grey. Now, dark greys against gloss black is the real in trend at the moment, whether you be painting your house, whether you be buying a car, whether you be buying a handbag, everybody loves the black on grey. And I can see why, because it's a really nice, sleek, statement colour that really does suit all the curves and accentuates the AMG styling. On the front here, you've got the sweeping pendant diamante chain with a nice big chrome accent livery against the gloss black. And down here, you've got parking sensors on the front with a honeycomb grille and front splitter finished in the mountain grey. You've got headlight wash system and you've got Mercedes LED headlights here with LED daytime running lights. So down here, it's the wheel you're all familiar with. It is, of course, the 18-inch multi-spoke AMG alloy wheels. Gloss black and silver rim with a black Mercedes-Benz brake caliper. Just naughty. It just looked really, really cool. Moving around, you can see in this sunlight, the fleck on the mountain grey is very prominent and it looks absolutely incredible. Obviously this does have the black pack and the night pack on it, so you've got the black alloys, you've got the gloss black mirrors here with a built-in indicator, you've got the gloss black door surround, or as I like to call it in the trade, de-chromed, but that is from factory, not aftermarket, so you don't have to worry. You also have got a really nice, as you can see in this light, magnetic, uh, magnetic, sorry, metallic, magnetic, I've lost my mind in this sun, black paintwork, and that goes against your sliding operating, panoramic roof. Down here you've got a plastic black splitter that just goes not blah. Down here you've got the mountain grey splitter which is part of the AMG styling pack. And moving around you can of course see you've got gloss black door pillars and tinted heat insulating privacy glass. You've got rear parking sensors which start just here and they flow all the way around the back of the car. And the bespoke design on the CLA is of course down here, it's that nice sloping back. Yes, it can be a little bit height restrictive for some people, but I'm sure you'll agree that looks lovely. You've got your Mercedes-Benz LED rear brake lights, built-in lip spoiler, again, with a fleck in this light really, really showcasing itself. And you've got your tinted privacy glass on the rear. And moving down, You've got your dual exhaust, honeycomb mesh just at the bottom, and of course your rear parking sensors. So the boot can be operated from the key. And there you go. A very, very surprising large boot. Now a lot of people obviously expect estates to have big boots, but this is quite a lot bigger than what you would expect given the body shape. Large enough for push chairs, golf clubs, anything of that nature. And you have of course, and once your tire slime, got second storage as well. To close it, simply click the button here and that will bring it down. Let me tell you, this paintwork is absolutely popping in this light. As you can see, really nice, clean, straight lines. It just looks epic. That isn't your imagination. That is all the fleck in the paintwork. Shining, shining, shining. So you can see the CLA on the outside is an absolutely incredible looking bit of kit and one that will really turn heads when it comes past you on the motorway or when you're just cruising at normal speeds down one of the B roads. But it wouldn't be a Mercedes without an abundance of technology and an absolute incredible amount of comfort from within. So without further ado, let's take a look at what the cabin has in store for you as a potential new owner. So the CLA, sports seating, and these are half leather 
which is called Dynamica and half suede nowhere on any of the seats no markings and it's a really nice cool almost modern take on an older style you can see here you've got the red contrast stitching which is of course the AMG colorway lumbar support just here and you've got manual chair adjustments that is a really nice comfortable sports seat it is of course heated and it's AMG so of course it's going to be made well moving on to the door card you can see you've got your deadlock you've got your chrome door handles you've got the red contrast stitching against the black leather and suede continued and you've got electric folding mirrors electrically adjustable mirrors deadlock for the windows and all the electric windows operated here and of course you've got remote boot release just there you've got your illuminated door inlay just here and down here you've got your AMG mats with the red contrast piping so getting inside what my first thought where's the Mercedes it's luxurious, it's classy, and it's got an absolute abundance of style. You have a brushed aluminium trim, all echoed throughout here. You've got your chrome plated air vents. You've got a lovely tablet style media display. You've got radio, media, telephone, CD, MP3, heated seat, drive select, auto start, start, parking sensors. And down here, you've got your air conditioning, which needs no introduction. You've got quite a vast amount of storage. You've got a 12 volt charger in here. And in there, you've got a nice enough little bit to hold a phone or wallet. And here, you have your media control point, which will also control the media tablet just there. The red and black contrast stitching on the leather is continued on here. And this, you do have a really, really nice little bit of kit just here that pulls back. And then on there, you've got your tablet charger and your phone charger or your USB ports. And obviously, as you can see with this, slide forward just to give you a nice, comfortable arm's length. Really stylish, these cars. So the steering wheel, Nappa leather. Half perforated leather with a red contrast stitching and most importantly, it's flat bottom. Everybody loves a flat bottom steering wheel and it's easy to see why. From a driver's perspective, it gives you that almost race car-esque feel. Now if you combine that with a multifunction control, so this button's here, will control your options in the menu just here and we can click on these and what can we click on? Trip, so if we click on the trip, we have range, we have your eco display, we have your dis from the start display, from the reset and an electronic speedometer. For now, we'll keep it on there. Navigation, that isn't a virtual cockpit, that will just tell you which road you're on and which way you need to head. Audio, you do have all your different options on here. So there's your FM, we've got radio too, but what I'll need to do is I'll need to change that in the other menu just so you can see. Bluetooth, got your telephone options just here. We've also got your assist. Now, if you click on that and click on assistance graphic, that will bring up an almost virtual roadway just for the road that you are driving on. ESP, electronic stability, also known as traction control. Collision assist, attention assist. So if you've been driving for long hours or you use this as a nice big motorway cruiser, this will tell you and advise you when to take a break or get some much needed sugar or caffeine. Service, if you click on this, that will bring up any error messages. Your tire pressures you can reset. So if you click on that and you click OK, that will give you your tire pressures. Assist plus, that will tell you when your next service is due. So just under a year. And that is it in that menu. And moving around, you can see you've got settings as well. So if you can change the instrument cluster, the vehicle convenience, or reset it to factory settings. So on here, what I will do, excuse the blurriness, it's not the unit itself, it's that my phone is Chinese and I don't think it wants to show you the screen, but there you can see it without any issue at all. So we'll start on here, you've got navigation, which is obviously powered from Garmin, who work alongside Mercedes to offer a really nice detailed branded name satellite navigation system. Really easy to use. And if you click on there, you can get traffic updates, recently found, points of interest, 
you've got so many different options it's enough to keep you occupied so if you go back you can go onto your radio and on here what you can do you can click on all of these whichever you would like and you can change all your presets that way but if you do click on your radio you've got FM and AM you do not have DAB on this one media that's your Bluetooth you can stream Spotify Apple CarPlay and YouTube you would have to just confirm that the Apple CarPlay would work by plugging it in as I don't have an Android phone telephone that is quite simple you connect your device and you can speak to whoever you want whenever you want vehicle settings you can go further into these so interior the lighting the exterior lighting, the ambient lighting, the colour, the brightness, you've got quite a few options regarding those. Back onto this, you've also got dynamic select which you can use off the button just here and that is obviously your driving mode but when you configure your individual you can change your drive, your steering, your eco start stop and your climate control. That will just give you your optimum driving performance and experience consumption pretty obvious that will give you your miles per gallon on some of your latest journeys and the owner's manual which we're not going to go in now system settings you can click in this and you can change quite a lot of the bits and bobs as you can see on the menu displayed just here time will display off so you can see it's quite comprehensive now for me we'll start the car up as you can see, it's not noisy, not like the dirty diesels of old, and it's a really nice, high contrast, almost old school vibe to the speedometers. I love white dials, and this just takes me back, but there's just something that gives it that really nice sporty edge. Obviously, you've got your red lines as well on there, just to see the maximum rev output, and you've got your kilometres an hour, and you've got your time just in front of you. So on the steering wheel, what have we got? We've got your options here, we've got your flappy paddles, we've got your window wipers just here and your rear wiper. On this side, we've got your other flappy paddle. We have your, when my phone focuses, we've got Lingotronic voice control. Please speak a command. Cancel. Cancel. There we go. You've got your Bluetooth, mute and volume control. Down here, you've got your automatic headlight, your fog lights, and you've also got your parking assist lights just here. And that really is the CLA in a nutshell. Before I do leave, I will show you how the panoramic roof operates. So as you can see, in the glorious sunshine at Emerald HQ today, we have the roof open. To change it, you simply press that. That will, of course, pull down the automatic roof. And if it's too hot and you're being burnt to shreds, hold that down again and the sunblind will come down. And that of course will give you a really nice, cool, non-being battered by the sun effect inside the cabin. And that combined with the aircon will give you a nice comfortable drive. But of course it's nice and sunny today and it would be a waste not to have this open. So we're at least going to open the blind so we can see the glorious sunshine whilst filming. And finally, moving on to the rear seats. I don't think these have ever been used as they are in immaculate condition almost when they left the factory. It's the same Dynamica half suede, half leather with contrast red stitching. And you've got Isofix, so it's ideal for a family and no wear on the bolsters. And there you go. So that is our CLA AMG line. And just remember, every car we take in at Emerald, prior to retailing being on our pitch, is given the Emerald 128 point check. That just means that there should be no maintenance required for the foreseeable future, and you can rest assured that you have dealt with probably the best car dealership in the UK. If you have any questions regarding the car itself, the video, or you need any more information, please do give us a call and we'll be happy to help or go through our extensive panel of lenders and our unbeatable Partex valuation system. Thank you very much for watching guys, we'll speak to you soon.